We're getting underway into Nuke. Stral is starting on that CT side, and we've got some doolies in play. Yeah, we do, but it's a double stack at ramp here for Astralis. Heroic looking to run it down. Hubski trying to hold on. Glaive has come over to Hell to try and help out, but Dupree, he's drawn first blood into this matchup. Tessis has been pulled out of play. And Heroic, they're going to leave Kadian in towards Hell, and they're going to drop off and kill elsewhere. And Kadian, he's starting to take his fight. He's caught between two players, though. It's a Danny sandwich, and Kadian's locked in between them. Zipex getting involved now with the dual Berettas. Magic has been cleared out of his position, but that's the bomb drop. Zipex has found the bomb, and it's dropped down the vent. Stelm's going to wait for this aggression, but he can't even get the first kill. Zipex closes it out, and those duelies do have some impact on the pistol round. You don't want to give them the chance to fire back at you. This is always a strong angle yeah. for Dupree. It has been cleared, but it won't make a difference. Yeah, Dupree just holding the range against the pistol. And now Glaive trying to get involved as well. It's Tessus that has been dropped by Dupree. He's chunked down low, 12 HP left, so it's susceptible to death at this point. But for Heroic, they haven't found too much here. Not a thing. And Maz is jumping out, trying to pick up some money. Gets the position of Stown, and Bubsky goes flying over the top of his crosshair. Shot in for Stown that lands. And now it's just Shush walking back into lobby. Around the corner is Magisk. And Shush is going to start walking into the cross. And it's waiting, but he's ready for it. Can't be able to pick up the kill. And Magisk gets the money. 2-0 start for Astralis. Lots of smokes used early by Heroic. But they still have flashes. They still have nades. But look at Dupree. He's getting into the right spot at the right time. Oh, and he's got Zipex as well to back him up. But he gets cleared out quickly. And now Dupree needs to make the rotation down into the B site. Heroic are not coming that way, though. Instead, they go around to hell. They've got refresh down here. That could cause some problems, though, for Astralis. You have got Bubsky on the stairway, and the headshot immediately landed onto refresh. But as Kidian striking out, Glaive has been brought down, and a 4v3 versus what is definitely not looking good on the defensive side for Astralis. They've got to step up here, and Magic knows he can be pushed from two sides. Heaven is a weakness in towards the lobby. It's certainly a play that could come through, and Magic is just trying to use the cover of the blue box. They come over the top, Stown will be taken down, but Shush has already dropped and finds a trade kill onto Magic. Dupree with this orb is hoping someone strays into his crosshair, but there's nothing he can do about the bomb plant might not have all those timings nailed down with Bubski. You saw in that round, Bubski and Magus were playing A. As Dupree does go down at the end. Nothing safe for Astralis. So it could get awkward clearing some of these close angles. And Refresh is going to wrap into me, but Glaive... Oh, that should have been a free kill. But Glaive cannot get it. He cannot line up the shots. And Refresh, I don't know how, but he's only taken 6 HP damage. And now the rest of the heroic squad starts to come in. It's Bubsky who had picked up that AK that is delivering three kills for Bubsky. Runs out of ammo and heroic, they could take a deep breath. That was definite options available to them because Yard is fairly open. Zipex has the window to play with, but he's been caught. Luckily, Major stepping up with a 2K. Tessas and Refresh. Both going down, and Mishik is going to change up his position. He gets closer. It's down in Kedian looking to come around the corner, and it's one more. Imagine, that's huge. Three kills finally taken out of the round by Kadian. Oh, and Shush just got into hell. Kadian with the pickup, though. A follow-up kill for him. And Dupree, he's under a lot of pressure here. Shush is coming over to try and stop the rotation down. And Kadian has already gone to the B site. So Shush should be spotting Dupree. Finally, will spot his head. And it's the headshot in behind for Heroic's third round. Player at ramp is somewhat close by, but if this door swings open, oh. we could get a fight any second. Zipex is ready for it. Comes down to the decon play. Will he be looking the right way at the right time? And he turns around. Tessis taking the headshot. The teammate distraction was enough to allow it. And now it's down. He's lurking up on the upper side. They know about this potential and they get the kill. Now he's done to refresh, but he's still walking. He may be a dead man walking, but he's still around. And Heroic have pulled it back. It's Tessus that's got that equalizer and refresh. Now pushing on to the awkward. He's looking to find Dupree in nine seconds left. That bomb is not going down right now for Heroic. And he's looking rough for them. As Bubski just holds down the lower site. It's Astralis who locked himself the equalizing score of four. They're going to pinch her on oh. his position. And Zipex, I do not envy him right now. He's about to go down. He's not been able to pick up anything. Unlikely to do so with that scout anyway. 
But it's Glaive down here that could cause problems. The bomb still has to pass him. He's the gatekeeper to the B site. He's been drawn away just at the wrong time. And Tessis gets the kill. It's heroic looking brilliant in this round. And Astralis has surely has to just save their weapons. But that might not just come in to happen as Stown is holding for the push into lobby. As is luckily getting the trade out. It is just the AK for him and heroic go into the lead. And it's the same similar style from Heroic. A lot of it stems from the yard control. A lot of it stems from either getting down secret or wrapping through yard and then having players hold other positions. Magisk even gets traded out at the end there. He's been looking pretty good individually. And it's what's been opening up these rounds. Bubski Whoa. back up the ladder, wins that fight against Down. Back to a 4v4, back to even numbers. But Cadian is closing in on that position and the nade's gonna do it. Oh, that's perfectly placed there by Shush and Bubski's out of that. Man, advantage yet again for Heroic and Zipex knows he has to step up. He knows he has to be the player that delivers. He's changed up his position. Cadian not ready for that one, but he hears the rest of the squad coming and they might just walk right into a trap that is laid for the Magisk and Zipex taking this one down. It's just Shush left, dropping down into the vent. 40 seconds left, has got the ball on his back. But Astralis is the 3v1, so they can play together. They will concede the plan. Shush has to pull off what'll be an incredible 1v3. I don't think Astralis will let this one slip. Close to one kill, but there's so many players nearby. Two from Decon. Shush has got the right read. He's looking at the right spot, and he's got a double kill. Now looking for one more. Dupree stands between him, and Shush is in with a huge clutch. A great start to the Danish Derby, and a huge play from Shush. Everything going right for Heroic right now. That's a heartbreaker for Astralis because after losing a round they should have won, they have to go down to pistols. Yeah, Alex, I feel a little bit silly about saying that Astralis shouldn't let that one slide, but he comes in, he gets the round win, and you can't say anything about that. Fantastic stuff from Shush early on here. 3v4, though, Astralis have come back with a bite in round 12. They may have the weaker weapons, they may have the Deagles, but there's still a man to the good, and they have found Shush alone, isolated from the pack. Just be heartbreak for Heroic, and Stown is going to start making his way forward. He's alone right now, trying to pressure that window room. Obviously, he has just changed up his position, so neither player getting the info there. And Stown is going to go back up, and now it's the playmaker. It's Tessess in with a headshot. Stown has found Glaive as well. They pulled it back into the 2v2, but it's a solo play into the A site from Tessess, and has been caught out by Magisk. Magisk, 13 HP, but you still have to deal with the issue of Bubsky, so you have the info, maybe, but Magisk has looked away, and Stown has got the window. He slipped on through. They have no idea, but Magisk in behind finally spots him out. It's a nightmare here for Heroic, and the pistols bite back from Astralis. Quite a few players over on the Heroic side, though. Is it a quick play here from Heroic? They blow open the door. Utility at the ready and refresh. He's running right out. Magisk is going to be under pressure. He's blinded. The kill comes in, but it's a trade out from Bubsky. We're even, but it turns into the ramp fight, and Zipex holding on. The Yorg spraying away. He's got a double kill. Now under pressure. Zipex trying to hold, but Shush gets rid of him. It's now a 2v3. Astralis hold the advantage. He now realizes a couple more angles come into play. A few more to worry about. Flash out, they play together, they group up, they try and make this trade impossible, and Dupree doesn't get the kill. Well played there from Heroic. With 24 seconds left, the ramp play they're ready for it. Shoots in with a headshot. Bobski's rotated down. He's playing from decon. He could spoil the party, but they know exactly where he is now. Running forward into the site, tries to deny, but Tessess from double door will land his kill. Heroic go for the full AKs for a Whoa. fast play. This is really quick. Refresh is out in front. He's going to fall, though. Bobski does well to get one, but it's Magisk who was needed. And they know how to deal with that. Heroic trade out evenly. It will be a 3v3 post plant for Astralis. They have to pull off the retake, and Zipex goes down. The bomb hasn't even been planted yet, and Heroic is still favored into this one. Oh, Tessess, good headshot. Smokes up as well, and that'll isolate. Glaive, he's completely alone. He's severed off from the chance into the A site. With so much time left for Heroic, they can actually just afford to do whatever they want into this one. And they've decided they want to go B. Hadian's not even gone with him. He's just going to watch the top oh. of them, but Glaive's coming down. He's made the right call. That big brain from Glaive has allowed him to get into the B site. No kit right now on the back of Glaive, though. It will be a battle of the in-game leaders, Cadian. 
coming into it. Must hear the tap, but does he run it? Does he go fast? And Glyph trying to pull him into the open. And no scope from Glyph! That is fantastic! That gets a sixth round for Astralis. It was an uphill battle the whole way through. It is Heroic that will go into the lead in the second half. We'll see how they start and fare into the second. The netting out to Tor. Currently Glaive going up on top of Silo and Astralis is sending quite a few players down towards Secret. But Glaive, look at the position he's already got. And Shush, he knows that there's players in below him. Good headshot onto Glaive. I'll start things off. Well, good start to the proceedings for Heroic. But Kitty and now spots them coming down Secret. There is a lot of action going all over the place right now. And Astralis looking to try and get onto the B site. As this has been fantastic so far, 20 and 11, locking in that bomb plant. And the two remaining teammates of Astralis joined them on the ramp. So the Astralis have got themselves into the 3v4. They've got the bomb planted. It is Heroic who currently stand with a man advantage into the retake attempt. And Magis might just go down here, refresh. He's worth some shots though. He hasn't been able to pick it up and finally he will. Oh, and close range, Zipex still gets caught out. Dupree sitting in dark, but they're going to clear him. Two quick headshots, but a quicker trade from Refresh. A lot of early utility on Yard, but there's only one man following it through. Glade is the man to drop the smoke, but he goes down early. Stown gets him straight through. Now the play into the A side. Shush will be tested. He's going to hold on, but only one kill for him from the rafters. It is Refresh now a top hunt that looks to undo the work of Astralis. And he's done a pretty good job at halting that attack into the A site. Magis can do pre now, dropping back and running into ramp. Heroic decide to go for some aggression, taking away the lobby control. Magis is here to meet them, but Refresh wins the duel. And now Dupree will just be hoping he can maybe get that bomb down on B, but there is an MP9 waiting for him. Yeah, Tessas is hungry. He's looking for it, and he's got his kill on Dupree. Right now, Heroic are ready for the A play, but B might just be the right call. They're going to run down Secret, sprinting forward, in fact. They've got the Lurker. They've got another kill. Heroic with two early frags, and now they oh, can't the afford to give up B, but they don't want to. Kadian drops down the vents. In comes Tessas, long range MP9. And Magisk has been having a great game so far, but even he can't win this one. Heroic just out of nowhere win all those fights. What an explosive round. And this could work for Astralis and gives them a chance. They're going for the plant to lock it in. Great call in the late round. Gideon is holding the cross, but Pubsky's not walked into his crosshair just yet. They're waiting for a mistake to come through, and there it is. Finally, Glyph gets aggressive. Gideon gets his kill. And Heroic are up two men into this retake attempt. They're looking to try and pull the kills back. It's Zipex and it's Pubsky. AK. Still in play, still a chance here for Astralis, especially when that can happen. Zipex coming in with a double, and now Tessus and Shoes trying to get back in. It's a headshot for Shoes. He silences Astralis again, but Bubsky looks to be loud. The defuse is coming in. He hasn't gone around the corner. He hasn't checked for this, and the round is going in favor of Heroic. 14 to 6, a valiant attempt towards the end there for Astralis, but it's just not to be. Very limited time, very limited chances when it comes to the margin of error is minimal and there's the play up from stown that's information on the bubski but tessus he's going to be the player that could foil the plans of astralis but magic gets quicker the headshot landed and now shush inside of the site still has a teammate towards the back it's refresh with it all to do now oh refresh that's huge a 4k out of nowhere and that is exactly what they needed it's 15 rounds for heroic and refresh just unleashes this is not going to be an easy test to pass. In the meantime, it will be Glaive walking his way through the lower side. They get the info. Now they've got to go. There's limited time in Tessus. He's doing a good job at slowing them. He hasn't died yet. And now he's dropped down. He's found the ball. He's looking for his follow-up kills as well. But Magisk has hit the headshot. And he's going to throw the molly in behind him, trying to allow him to get down as Glaive jewels it out. Wakadian, he wins the fight, but not for long. He's burnt to a crisp. That molly holds them back for the meantime, but Magis needs to deliver a huge clutch. He's got one already. Can he find a refresh? And no, he can. It's Heroic that will take the win here on Nuke. Their map pick going their way in a very convincing fashion. Like, Oh, the name might be on point. Goes a bit too far, so it only does a bit of damage onto Bubski, but the push is at the ready. Counter smoke from Heroic, but bubsy has got ahead of it. Oh, Tessus from the pillar getting one, a second picked up as well from Tessus. He gets a third, and Refresh stepping up as well. And this pistol, it is looking clean here for Heroic. Nothing they can do. Astralis just fall by the wayside. Heroic in with a pistol win.
Heroic do realize what has happened, and now it's all about making sure they just close out this round by limiting the casualties. You don't want to give anything extra over to Astralis, and Glaive has got a kill, so that's Cadian down. This is definitely not exactly how it should have gone for Heroic. As they start to make their way back in, Tessus and Stown with rifles should be clearing out these positions pretty quickly. Astral is still alive, still nuisances inside of the B site. Finally, kills start to come in here for Heroic, and they are cleaning up the remaining players. They get the round, but Astral is coming in with the bomb plant. That shouldn't really have happened. Rifles that remain alive for Heroic. Yeah, Kedian, and that's, that's a perfect point, Hockey. He only had the Deagle, and now Astral is running into the B site. 4v4 is down. His turn to get involved in this round, and he's got himself one. 17 seconds was the only player inside of the B site. And Tess is not too far off getting that kill on the zip packs, but bomb shall be planted. Astralis will play the post plant. CT smoke still up, but Heroic have a couple of nades of their own. They're going to smoke off Banana, but that's not going to make a massive difference because Astralis are all committed to the site, and the molly on CT will force Heroic into ruins. Yeah, zip packs holding. He's low. He's up on top of the coffins, though. Strong position to try and get one, and he will get one. Trade it out quickly. 2v2 now. Dupree at Pillar has a strong spot, and the time is ticking right now for Heroic. The timer on the play, and Magis has found himself a kill on Shrews. Goes in for the second, and it's a first round for Astralis, picked up by Magis. It's going round and down under pressure. So much utility being used up. And I love that from Tessis. The re-reply straight down middle from Refresh. And that is a 4v3 man advantage for Heroic. But they're going to try and isolate this player. And Banana and Tessis. That's a huge overperformance to be able to get another kill out of that. Hey, he had the Famas. He had the one weak weapon on the team. But the bomb oh. still a second mid. Glaive fully blinded. And Refresh finds him. Now they're going to realize there's no one else here. But Bubsky's just got to rush it onto A. Yeah, he's got time. But it is going to be the 1v1 fight against Shush around the corner. And Bubsky, does he check the balcony? No. And it's going to be Shush that takes the round. Strauss is going to try and walk around long. And Stown's come over to the party as well. This is not looking pretty for them. Astralis, even if they get through Archway, they have to deal with Stown. And he's not letting them get any further. Tess is peeking out. Another fantastic start into the map for him. He's already reached double figures on the kill count. 10 and 3. And Magis now alone. Just the Deagle in hand. And Heroic have shut this one down. Magis looking to just try and get a headshot or two on his way out. But that won't even happen either. Heroic closed it out 5 to 1. Yeah, this time, Heroic don't have all the info to play with. But they will hear the utility starting to come in. They can get it to ready here on the defense. And here comes the charge down banana for Heroic. They're going to get a quick rotation. There's a timer on the play now for Astralis to get into the A sign. Refresh and shoot. They don't even need the reinforcements. All the kills come in on defense. And Astralis what? just don't get a thing. Kidian, too far off that. That just tries to go around the corner and it's down. And a little bit of pressure sprinkling some damage down. And oh. Tessus gets the kill with a molly. Bubsky just burns alive. And the bomb is down in the open at Banana. Astralis can recover it, but they're still down a player. And they walk around the corner once again, gifted the bomb. This time it rolls to the feet of Tessas, who just gets himself kills. Stown and Tessas working together. And Dupree, he'll finally get his first kill. He draws blood into Inferno. It takes eight rounds. He's got the AK. They look for a little more, but Shush was not ready for that, Dupree. 7-1 up for Heroic. Fantastic start for them. We haven't had a Cadian highlight play yet, though. It might be about time for it, Dinko. He's ready with the AWP on the site. He's waiting for it, blinded. He's forced to wait. Throw the back into the site, but it's Tessus' turn. He comes through the smoke. He finds himself Glyph, but Bubsky quick on the reply. But look at the play from Refresh. Trying to get there quickly, running down middle. But here goes Cadian. Headshot onto Zipex. Can he find any more? He's at the back. He's being tested. A missed shot, but he's still alive. He looks for more. Ooh. He lands the headshot, going back for a little more, but not much more to be found. And Refresh arrives at the top of Banana. His mid push finally coming in. A ball plant secured for Bubsky, but now he looks to secure the round. This is much more difficult, but they're looking the wrong way, and he only gets the one. It's again a round loss for Astralis. If you get through to the semis immediately, you put yourself in a very good position. But again, we all have to remember how much of a big change this really is for them. And they're going to try and run up into Banana. It's Magisk with the opening kill. Actually, Stown, of course, with the opening. But Magisk pulls it back for Astralis. And Tessis does not let them retreat. Take that. Tessis just drops two. When there's a little bit of an opening, when they get enough information, they do like to push and take away all of that map control. 
And lots of these quick rotations. So right now, Estrella's trying to get into B. Tessus holding on, and he doesn't even need help again. A 4K from Tessus, a huge round delivered. Just waiting. Oh no, the timing. He was holding the boost for so long, but when it comes up, Kenny and it just switched his crosshair. And now now it's down getting cleared out of the round. A quick reply from Magisk, a follow-up headshot. And this is much better for Astral. It's a far better situation to find yourself in. Oh, I don't know if she's just gonna in. use it though. Maybe in the late rounds. Just get him out of the close corners. Well, he's just gonna walk into the open and die. And Zipex and Glyph do get their kills. Refresh, holding his AK. One real standout player. I guess Kadian's the closest to it for Heroic, but you always know that all your teammates can step up when they are called upon. Here comes Barbski, oh. flashes early. He's not able to get the early fight to go his way. And with all those nades on Banana, he's not able to get any backup either. Yeah, these Banana fights are just brutal for Astralis. It's Tessus and Stown just locking it down. And Astralis, they're, they're down two players at the start of this one already. There's a minute and 25 seconds left. And Astralis, if you've got to go, you've got to go through the smoke. Coffin smoke out from Dupree. Flash is about to pop and still three players standing here for Heroic. As Tessus in with the first, goes in for the second as well. Dupree tries his best, but Tessus continues to mow them down. Another 4K from the back of the B site. That just has been given banana control, but it's the play for Astralis. They walk through the mid smoke, and now they're about to pop through the left side at long and refresh. He goes unchecked. He'll get one, nearly getting another huge multi kill. But he's brought down very quickly after Glaive has found a pick. And is a 2v3 still favoring Heroic into this one? The majority of their players are on the B side of the map, and the bomb's just gone back over to bottom banana. It's on the back of Magisk, and he's walking right into Stown. He'll take the kill, he'll find the bomb, and they'll just smoke it off. But as it stands, it's only Stown who's properly peeking in, and Shush oh. eventually gets the info. Glaive down low. Yeah, in HP right now. And try and go for the pick, and Sandari is coming down, but it's the headshot from Stown that is delivered. This is one of those rare rounds where Heroic are playing for info, but I think it's because they have the weaponry advantage. They have the nades to work with, and they're already using those rifles to their favor. Yeah, Magis is about to set up in Moto Smoke. Interesting to see how they approach this one. Astralis obviously with far less weaponry to play with, and Zipex tries to get forward. The MAC-10 look at a carve open, an opportunity into the A site, but it's not coming in. And now Bugsy, just one bullet away. 12 to three half for Heroic. They look to try and close it and head to the semifinals. We'll see if they can do it after the break. And you see kind of in limbo, Magisk wondering, do I commit to A, do I commit to B? And he's made the call to go over to the B site. And his utility starting to come in for Heroic. They're committing to their guns. They're running into the A site. They found Bubsky. Now Dupree, he's been quiet so far. And they're going to avoid him. They're going through into CT spawn. And Magisk now has to step up. He's only managed one kill. And they're running down into the B site. And Zipex at Ruins. Three players stand in front of him. And he does have a chance to sort of pick them apart and give a small chance on over to Astralis. Let's them get onto the site safely, but in comes down onto Banana. He's been dealt with. In comes Zipex. Bomb gets dropped, and Tessess tries his best, but Dupree comes in with the triple kill. That is exactly what Astralis needed to give themselves a chance here. And Heroic, they don't want to walk into A anymore. They've had enough of that. They're going to be grouping up at the bottom of Banana, but right now that might not be any easier as Glaive is at the ready. Flashbind coming in for Zipex. It's a line up there for Glaive, but he's only managed one kill. And now the Glocks continue to run down. Zipex on the double, looking for a bit more up against these Glocks. He's done well. He's cleaned it up. That's beautiful from Zipex. Five rounds for Astralis. It's clean. It's money. Flash round. Kedian now looking for his opening. He's got Glaive out at the start of the gun round. And that's not the start because that, that leaves Zipex alone. He's under a lot of pressure. Now, once again, he needs to step up. This time against the rifles. Zipex getting one. A second picked up as well. And now Shush looking to run him down. He's at second oranges. And Zipex is delivering everything. Four kills picked up. And now a refresh left in the 1v4. Oh, that is huge. That's exactly what Astralis ordered. He might not have had a Deagle if it wasn't this sort of round where you've just had that different buy come through for you. You might have just had a USB in your back pocket, but thank God he had the D to bail him out when he ran out of ammo. The flashbang helping him out so much. And Dupree comes in to seal the deal. Astralis have that all trained on the position. 
Smoke has just gone into deep banana too. So I think that denies it. What a shot from Tessis though. The first bullet accuracy from this guy is incredible. And he's opened up so much of the map for them. A refresh spots the barrel of Bubski, but he's quicker on the headshot here. Bubski luckily had the AK. Wallbang's refresh out of it. Now Tessis, he's got that AK. He worked so hard to get. Nostralis, I'm sure they're sweating a little bit right now. Heroic is starting to get closer. That smoke will allow them to run into the site, putting pressure on the pit setup. You've got Magisk in here, though. One of the best in the world at this position, but he's only managed one. It is Tessis, who is the star of the show in round 19. And it's just Dupree left alone. Kidding and landing shots of the Deagle. And this is not how the story should have gone. Astralis. I want to more look at Heroic because these are the sorts of rounds where when you win them, this can really push you over the edge, make you an elite team. When you can win with just the Deeks, when you can win when the odds are against you. I think that will do enough to delay Heroic slightly. At least make sure the rotate's there. They want to cross though. There's a big gap. The gap is huge right now for Heroic. Tessis has got the kill on Zipex. And he's just going to run through the smoke here. Kidding with the decal has been unleashed. And Glaive luckily getting a headshot back. It's a four versus three. 50 seconds left. Heroic hold the advantage. And Glaive tries to get close in the smoke. Good deny the plan if he gets the spam right here. But just too far up in the air. And Tessis right through the smoke. Kill onto Glaive and Magisk and Dupree. They have no chance in this one. It has to be the save call. It's a bitter pill to swallow. Glaive not able to react quickly enough to save his teammate. Ends up being a trade. And then Glaive comes close to the spam through the smoke, through the coffin. Close is not good enough. He had to deny. It's not a very easy thing to do when you're switching up these roles and you're trying to compete at the highest level against the best teams in the world. And to make it to playoff is decent already, but this is their biggest test yet. It test says... Diving out of the apartments, unable to get anything. Luckily, Refresh comes in, but Dupree, I don't know how. He hasn't been able to pick that one up. And the kills start to come through here for Heroic. It's just Zipex left alone. He's making a quick play from the B site. One will get planted default, and it's Gideon and Stown looking to close this one out. But it is the Clutch Man himself. The Clutch Minister steps into the 1v2. Ooh, steps into the open, but takes a good bit of damage. Down to 41 health. And in comes Kadian from the other side. Not ready for that second player. Matt and series point for Heroic. Semi-final point for Heroic. Well, it might just be the win here for Heroic. It might just be semi-finals locked in up against what is a very weak fight of Astralis. Kadian walking into top banana. Finds out Gliv. He's looking for the follow-up, and he's got it. Two kills picked up. That's the B-side cracked open. And now Astralis with the weaker weapons looking to pull it off. Akkadian running right through the smoke. Tessa's getting the headshot. It's an AK picked up, but every kill is coming in here for Heroic, and it's cleaned up. It's Heroic to take the wins. They're the great Danes in this matchup, and they head right through to the semifinals.